be on the air. James Stanage. Don't lie to me. Don't be in no, denial. Key 103. I think Elizabeth is with us next. Hello, Elizabeth. Hi, how are you, James? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Um, I've had, you've given me such excitement tonight about the, um, which, the fifth people you're talking about. Who of the Mormons? The Mormons. Oh, my goodness. What, do you know anything about them? I was so shocked. What about? A girl who used to live next to door to me with three children. Yep. She, she used to go to ch a normal church, which I have done. In the like park. Church of England stuff. Yes. Boring old Church of England, yeah. Yeah, but I don't pressurise my son into doing that because it's his own belief in the future. I believe that you bring your children up to respect people and that's it. And it's how you bring your children up. Yep. Right? Yep. Uh, but, oh, they were round at the front door and then it was, they had... <laughs> their entertainment is, um... Go on, go on, go on, go on, go <laughs> on. This is Mormon fight. entertainment, yes? They have powder fights outside, you know, like... Uh, they have fights outside with powder. Yeah, like is, talcum powder. Well, talcum powder or whatever. And then they hold hands. The girls aren't allowed to kiss the boys. And we got invited round. And I was so frightened. I was really frightened. And they really pressurise you into it. And then I got a letter from one of her sons. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. I got a letter from one of her sons through my front door saying, why do you disrespect me? And I said, it isn't that I disrespect you, but it is not what I want. And they but when he so said, why, why, did you, why didn't you, you know, when you were about him, why didn't you say, because you're a sad tosser? Because I'm single on my own. And what, and you're scared of what they might do? Absolutely. So have you got Mormons living around you, Elizabeth? Yes. <gasps> do you know, funny enough, I was in Hyde uh, in, uh, I think it was, um, yes, it was definitely Asda. Yeah. Um, and funny enough, I was in, uh, I think I was in, I was somewhere else as well before. Yeah. I was, I was somewhere like the pound shop in Hyde. Yeah. And um, I saw these women and it was like sister somebody or other. Absolutely. And I that, said, that's what I mean. They, the girls go around together and, I said, and you the don't, boys are secular. I said, you don't look like nuns. <laughs> oh, no, with Mormons. I said, oh, bloody hell, yeah, Mormons. They're not allowed. They are not allowed to wear T-shirts to show any part of the body oh, that no. may be sexy oh, no. or whatever. Oh, no. Not at no, all. No, sex is a dirty word. Absolutely. Of course it but is. They're not women, women don't act, women don't enjoy sex in the Mormon Church. It is their, it is their, it is their duty to give their husband sex whenever he wants it. Oh right. Of course it is, well, baby. It's going to be two people, has not it? You know that. As well no, as well. not in the Mormon Church. It doesn't. Absolutely. Well, there we go then. So Absolute. we are saying that we are two people, a male and a female, and if a male and a female wish to get together, then that is absolutely sane. Is yes, it not? of course. Absolutely. James, you're of the right mind. You've had me in stitches tonight, Mum. But baby, you see, oh, it's why like... isn't he on the I, phone? Because he hasn't got the guts to do he it. He hasn't got the balls to do of it. Of course he hasn't. Language. Of course he hasn't. Of course he hasn't. I can read his letter now that he wrote to complain. Excuse me, where do they Shall go? I read it? When they go knock... When the men go out knocking house to house, when they meet a nice female, what do they do? Excuse me. Okay. I know his name. I know his name, right? Okay. I won't give his name out. Um, he said uh, he was sickened at James Stanage's intolerant rhetoric. Specifically, in brief, the foundation of his complaint indicates James Stanage is projecting a negative Semitic viewpoint well, to which. You've got intelligence. He is a again. deeply religious gentleman and a member of the Mormon Church organization based in Warrington. He is concerned that James Sturridge's alleged anti religious comments will incite hatred towards religious minorities. Not at all. Yes, Not we do. All. I do. I hate them. Yeah, but we I do. Are, we have our own views, James. He will be seeking avenues in which to take his grievance further. Good. We but I'll tell you what. We're Great Britain and we're allowed our views. Spineless little get won't come on air, will he? Absolutely. He won't come on air because he's a spineless <laughs> Mormon toe rag. <laughs> They all well, are, aren't they? have incited him to do it. No, but he won't do it because he's scared to death because he knows I'd destroy him. <laughs> and I mean, he's, he's, got the, he's got the audacity to suggest that I'm unintelligent and he's a Mormon. I mean, it's a joke. 
<laughs> Mormonism is an absolute <laughs> joke, apart from these sad, brainwashed drongos. To oh, have Jasper yes. Carrot was doing jokes about the Mormons 30 years ago. James, if I may interrupt. Yes. Something I will not do with my son is to uh, show him a way which he will not follow. He will... I try my best as a parent to, for him to respect people, for him to respect his home, for him to respect other people. It isn't about religion. It's about respecting people. And if you can do that calmly within the family, then it isn't about who is up there looking over us. It's about respect for people at the end of the day.